Is it recording? Is it recording? I'll see you in a minute. Okay, what's up, what's up, you guys? How y'all doing out there? I had to hit, oh, not a whole video, because I cut it, I had to do some editing to it. But anyway, my one of... On one of the videos, my sound wasn't working. So I had to go back and play with it. You know, being a blogger, some people just come out here and jump out there and go for what they know. I'm a type that, hey, I like to kind of be, you know, a little bit organized, a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. I got stuff all on my table. Now I just dropped my dang on. My table ain't but so big. So I'm making it do what it do, y'all. I'm making it do what it do. My little floss and stuff came out. I got a mess going on over here. Okay, I'm going to sit that there. Push that back out the way a little bit. Turn that way because I don't want the thing on plastic on. Close to be showing. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? Ooh. So anyway, y'all, let's get ready to get into this video. I'm on um I'm looking at Jessica the Prankster and Mama Red are not back together. Despite the rumors, right? So Mama Red and Jessica going back and forth, pertaining a little little bit of money. You know, Jessica, she's got a million, over a million, some subscribers. People just really love her. I remember when she first started out, I, I subscribed to her channel. I've been subscribed to her channel, you know, when she was still in middle school and stuff like that. And one wearing the eyelashes and the tattoos and the nails and all that stuff. She wasn't driving or any of that type of thing. You get what I'm saying? So I've been watching for a minute. They come up out of Florida. They lived it in a trailer park, you know, and Jessica got her and her mom out of the um trailer park she got it she got it from the mud you get what i'm saying so y'all they having a little dispute um money can make you do that instead of departing from one another this should make them stronger yeah i'm having heart pebulation so you got to excuse me this, this should make them stronger but it count it don't divide them into two when they used to be one, not a two. So Jessica went on, and y'all gonna see it in the video as well. I'm not gonna speak too much on it, you know, about how Mama Red um gave her, you know, used to give her money, but not enough money. Um, I don't know how much money she needed at that age. You get what I'm saying? Then she goes on to say that Mama Red did buy her things, you know, that she needed. And still gave her money on top of it. Mama Ray had to pay bills, had to pay the staff. You know, just a lot of confusion. But at the beginning of the video, well, I'm about to get ready to play off of um, <laughs> off of um, this young man channel here, uh, PJ. Uh, Mama Red is talking about Jessica by the parts. She's saying Jessica is a little toony down there you get what i'm saying and jessica goes on to tell her hey i take care of myself but if jessica smell a little tuny that means that falls back on mama red mama red then teach her how to take care of her body wait a minute before you go there okay y'all know how i do 50 50 and not 50 the other half is mama red could have taught could have taught jessica her personal hygiene and jessica just don't do it or jessica probably didn't do it that day so it can go so many ways but let's get ready to get into this video and see what more what mama red got to say about jessica tuna box why do you keep turning my seat warmer off why do you keep turning it on that's a seat warmer it warms the seat Okay. Okay, well, you should not put a seat warmer on. But what we're not going to do is, is fry fish up in this mo- <laughs> Yeah. People, you don't ride people in your car when they're not clean. And then they put the seat warmer on, and you have to smell fish and tartar sauce. Oh, that's that's like, then at the next one, like, turn left. I'm very good with my hygiene. You won't got the seat warmer on. Mm -hmm. I'm running away. You should have been that low. <laughs> 
Wow, she told Jessica she should have been no left. And the girl did just that. Okay. Um, everything, everyday thing, his his intro is playing, okay. I'm gonna bypass this a little bit because what's going on is Mama Red had the little things you squeeze and doing the general re uh, reveal and paper got all inside of her car and she's sitting there hitting on the girl car with the um stick and stuff, you know, trying to tick her off and all that good stuff. So they just what she doing is unnecessary. Exactly. I ain't got no gas in it. A lot of people think that Jessica moved back home to Atlanta with me. Jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She moved to California, did what she did, hoorah, hoorah. Jessica has not come back to this house. Jessica comes to Atlanta, she don't call, she don't come by, she don't do none of that, okay? That's so sad. That she goes to Atlanta and she don't visit her mother. It's so sad. That just like me being here in my hometown and my son is 30 minutes or maybe 40, not even 40, he about 30 minutes away. I've been here. He haven't came to see me. I guess he went on me to see him. And I shouldn't say, oh, I'm the mama, you know. It shouldn't have to be like that. He texts me on um, TikTok saying that one of my associates want to talk to me because him and his girl was going through some things that particular day or probably that particular week. And she went up there and um, my associate went up there because my associate and her sister and my son has got kids together. And she went up there and said some things to both of them. But she, you know, said a little bit too much to my son that she was going to pew pew my son if he did this and if he did that. But she for she forgot her and I used to hang together. We used to stay next door. Not next door, but we stayed in the same community together. We used to um, go party together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm jumping off subject. And she forgot she got a son, too. So if you pew pew my son, I'm going to pew pew your son. Most definitely. Pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And I'm not going to uh, turn up the cheek because that's in the Bible. And I'm not in the Bible. Okay, but anyway, my son haven't come to see me, haven't called me or nothing. And I'm okay. Because I'm his mother. He's not my father. I'm his mother. So let's get to the video. So I can sympathize with uh, Mama Red on this one right here. You know, Jessica not coming to see her. Jessica moved away. And that's fine that Jessica moved away. She moved away to get away from her mother. She moved away to follow her dream. She moved away. To be with probably her guy friend or her lady friend or to just get out of Atlanta. She was in Florida. She didn't go back to Florida. She was in Atlanta. So Atlanta, it probably don't got a little bit too much overwhelming for her. And she probably don't like it. So she feel like going to California. She got the money to do that. Okay. Um, I don't know if she's in California in college. I don't know. But y'all, I'm going to let this play out. I'm going to uh, see what's going on with this air conditioner because I don't got hot. I am not in contact with Jessica. Let's say it. Okay? Me as a parent, you try to control your kids. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, you on, try to control Marie. your kids. You try to do the best you can. You try to lead them in the right way. And some kids just don't want to listen to what you got to say. Okay? Um, I never tried to harm Jessica in any way. I, what I did was try to mother her and give her advice that she did not want to take. Um, it's froze. Is, is it the vibe froze? Okay. Um, <laughs> old people, boy. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't have no grudges against anybody or anything. Um, I love Jessica to death, always will. Don't have no problems with her. But Jessica, um, has people in her life right now that don't know. Um, 
what happened or what they think is going on. Um, she's following, you know, a, a certain people that um, don't know the backstory. As a matter of fact, they don't know the story at all. Okay. Um, I'm just coming on here to let people know she's not at home. Um, you know, and you know when people get on social media, they believe everything they. When I tell you um, that Mama Red is, I'm not gonna say devastated, but Mama Red is upset that Jessica's not there, that Jessica's being led the wrong way. And if, if Jessica being led the wrong way, she'll see it. She she got to experience it. Mama Red can't tell her. You can't tell your kids. I can't tell my kids. They got to see it on first hand. They got to taste the water to see whether the water is, is hot or cold. Uh, or do the water have a flavor to it. You get what I'm saying? You, you follow me? Um, but... Uh, she's so used to Jessica being in the home with her and they doing things together. But she got to realize Jessica going to become an adult one day. And she have and she had the right to leave the home if she chose to. And that's just what she have done. It could be under some good terms, bad terms. But Jessica will be coming up next. I'm going to end this video of her talking to them. I'm going to go over to Jessica, right? see or they believe everything that comes across social media okay um i don't post nothing on social media that i can't back up okay and in order for you to be a woman stand your ground or whatever you want to stand on is your prerogative okay but don't come sending messages or posting about the duo is back together okay because we're not back together Okay. Hi everyone. Um Okay, now here come Jessica's side, okay? Give me a second. Y'all like this hat? I'm gonna be walking these hats to church, baby. Don't play with me. When that bad boy tilt to the side, I'm just waiting for my shoes to come in. My lavender shoes with my little white dress and my I'ma take a picture. Don't play with it. But anyway, here go Jessica. Okay, she's gonna tell her side. It's always two sides. Okay, it's never. Um, I shouldn't even say it's never three sides because it's always three sides. It's what the Lord knows, what the two people knows, that going through it, and the witness. I, I I don't know. Do you do you insert them or not? Do you? I don't know. Before I start this video, I just want to let. Every single one of you know that this video is not to spread hate or any type of slander towards anyone's name. And that because I am an influencer, I am not obligated to get on here and tell people that I don't know my personal business and tell people about my personal life. And I know that if you guys were in my shoes, you guys would not get on the internet and come on here and tell people that you don't know from a can of paint your business. That's There's right. multiple parts to a story. All of you do not know what goes on behind closed doors. None of you know my story. None of you know where I came from. None of you know nothing. Jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She has made me look like a terrible human being. Yeah, everyone really? jumped right to that. They heard it and they quickly started hating i received death threats hundreds of people telling me i'm worthless me and mama red started making money when i was 15 years old all the way until i was 19 because when i was 19 years old i left her resident from the age of 15 to the age of 19 i've never received full half payments of anything that i have worked for now i gotta go I back say that mama red until i was 19 because when i was 19 years old i left her resident from the age of 15 to the age of 19, I've never received full half payments of anything that I have worked for. Now, what I can say that Mama Red has given me $500, she's maybe given me $1,000, $1,500, but it's always been... 
Ain't that's a... Lord, little baby, don't run into T.T. car with that bicycle. Living in the hood, baby, these children be all over the play. They play around your car. Lord, little baby, I know you ain't gonna run into the car. Oh, Jesus. It ain't just the hood, y'all. Let me change that. It ain't just the hood. It can be in the millionaire neighborhood. Kids riding bicycle run right into your car. So I'll let, excuse me for saying that. I shouldn't have said that. I'm just thinking small. Okay. Y'all, I, I, never mind. Let's get to the video. But anyway, <clears throat> this young lady is saying that her mother gave her between five to a thousand to fifteen hundred. At the age of between fifteen and nineteen, plus playing, plus paying bills, plus paying the staff as well, and still purchasing her things that she want, even though she gave her money. How do y'all feel about that? Small portions of money, and I was told to make it last for the whole month. There will be months where we ever wonder. Okay, we got an ad coming up as well, and I return back, okay? But it's always been small portions of money, and I was told to make it last for the whole month. There will be months where we've made five times that amount of money she has given me. 30% would go to our agents, she get the rest, and she will only distribute maybe $1,000 to me. Now, when you are under a contract, and it doesn't matter if you're under a contract or not, if you... Okay, I wish that Erica would have broke it down a little bit more, you know, in my opinion, when she stated that um, she kept the rest. Okay, if she kept the rest, Erica, I mean, Erica, Jessica should have said, well, she kept the rest... And she don't have to, but just to clear things in the air, she kept the rest. And she made later on the video, if I let it play out. And she kept the rest, and this is what, you know, she took care of this, and she took care of that. Now, she already said, y'all heard her say this, she took care of the staff. She had to pay agencies, okay? So, let's get to it. You are working with someone. Granted, you are my mother. You are supposed to split things equally because I am working as hard as you are working as well. It doesn't matter if we have bills to pay. It doesn't matter if you buy me things. It doesn't matter if I'm spending incorrectly. I make the money, and if I want to go out and spend my money incorrectly, then I can do it. I appreciate her for trying to lead me on the right path as far as money and finances but I definitely feel like it was wrong for me to never out of the five years of making content with her that I've never gotten full half the amount of money that I was earned or that I've worked for so I mean y'all keep it real be honest what's your opinion what is your opinion is Mama Red wrong? Should Mama Red have gave her half? And this is me. No Mama Red should not have gave her half of anything. The reason why? Because she's only, she said, 15 to 19. She's not, I shouldn't say this, you guys, I shouldn't say this. But as a teenager, if you teach your kids how to manage money, then they're going to manage money. We hope, we got our finger crossed that they, know, that, you know, they really know how to manage money if you show them the correct way and, and their mentality is to save money because they want to buy this they want to buy that they want to save for a house for a car she's saying that she should have got half of the money but if she got half of the money and mama red kept the other half um how was things going to get done so now this is how i'm taking it right here and i could be wrong y'all dropping in the comments i'm not gonna get upset about it um is she saying Mama Red, and she didn't say it, but this is me assuming that bills she sh Mama Red should have get kept her half and gave her her half. Who was gonna pay the bills out of who half? Or is she saying you know she feel like 
let me let me put it like that. She feel as if after Mama Red paid the agency and paid all the bills around the house, she should have gave her her half out of whatever what was remaining. That not that probably would work out. When I turned eighteen, um, and mind you, before your child turns eighteen, if you are running a business with them, or you are supposed to put money in that child's savings account or True. bank account. And you stock that money up until they turn 18. You give them that card and say, here you go. You are legal. When I turned 18, I had nothing. I didn't have money saved up. I didn't have anything. And even after I turned 18, even when I was 19, I was still getting small portions of money. And honestly, I feel like this isn't even about money. I am shocked that Mama Red has gone to the internet stating these things. I appreciate everything that Mama Red has done for me. Yes, she has taken me in. Yes, she has raised me. Now, when she said she took me in, now, now that what threw me for a loop, y'all. She said Mama Red took me in. That indicate that throws up red flag. That what? That's not her daughter. Who is Jessica to Mama Red? She said Mama Red took me in and I appreciate everything that she have done. I know y'all heard it. About money, I am shocked that Mama Red has gone to the internet stating these things. I appreciate everything that Mama Red has done for me. Yes, she has taken me in. Yes, she has raised me. Yes, she's done everything in her will to make sure i was good in a way this isn't even about money this is about ways that i have been treated um i will say at times is this mama red granddaughter because jessica is not jessica is not for white she got a little drip of ninja in her y'all So, we already know that her mom is I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all get it right. I wasn't really treated fairly. But it, it, it will be times where I wanted to hang out with friends and enjoy the moment. And I had to make content an excuse or a reason to hang out with a friend. I always felt like I wasn't able to hang out with friend if content was not involved. Right now, I know it's work and I know that's mm -hmm. how we make money, but at the end of the day, I'm still a human being and I don't want a camera in my face 24-7. was the time where right. Mama Red has told me, I called her mom, um, I think we were in a disagreement, and she has told me. Check this out. Wow. Y'all, I'm going to be ending this video very shortly, okay? And like I said, you guys going to have to go over there and uh, finish watching it yourself. I don't think I'm going to play, 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 play this whole thing. I called her mom. Um, I think we were in a disagreement, and she has told me to not call her mom. Because she's not my mom. And this was maybe like two years ago. I never got gotten an apology for that. And you know that that really hurt me because I imagine so. I don't have I don't really have family. It'll be days where she wake up angry and she take her anger out on me and she has admitted to that. And you know, a person can only handle so much. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say I was the best kid in the world. I'm not gonna sit here and, and tell you I was an angel. It was times where I had my room dirty. It was times where I talked back. It was times where I was defiant. All, t you know, teenagers, you know, through that teenage stage where you think you just know everything. I'm not gonna sit here and say I was an angel because that was not the case. But as a parent, as a mother, it's just certain ways you handle situations. Um, granted, we made videos me and Mama Red did not have the best bond. She told me that wow. I needed to work a nine to five job because I'm super. Un okay, now I'm, I'm gonna stop it there because my time almost up. Yeah, I have to go over there and look at it 
for yourself. Sign as if I mean I like what Jessica is saying and and and, and, and being respectful. Um, but sound like you know you want to push your children and obvious this is not her child probably uh, a family member child or something like that or, you know she took her in and taken care of her. and Jessica did started out at age of 15 and she grew she grew her child grew her child grew she making money she, she got money okay and if it wasn't for mama red pushing her to do these things and mama red seeing some potential in her and Mama Red knew that, hey, you know, you can make money like this. I don't know who I did was to uh, start YouTube at all. Uh, let me try to take it back just a little bit, okay? Let me see. when I, Can I go back just a little bit, you know? Um, to Oh, here we go right here. I want to go back a little bit farther, though. I want to go back. Um... I'm going to say 2000. Let me see. Okay, I found with Jessica the prankster. Um, telling my mom I'm joining a gang. They were hilarious, y'all. I'm going to give it to her. They was hilarious. So, I'm going back as far as um, 2020. No, 2000. Let me go back a little bit farther. Because I don't know when this young lady started, to be honest with you. Let's see. Let me, let me. I'm just playing around with something, y'all. Okay. Jessica the Prankster. I am Mariah Carroll. I, yeah, I remember Jessica doing a prank. And the little girl went and told on her. It said and play all. No, I don't want to play all. But yeah, they started a while back. I have to stop this because uh, music. I ain't trying to get a copyright or nothing like that. But it's a short that she did. Here it goes. Jessica the Prince has a perfect little waistline. Oh, she do got a little little tiny waistline. She's a beautiful girl. She really is. But y'all drop y'all comments and tell me what y'all think on this here. On Miss Jessica. She have turned out to be a beautiful girl. <sighs> you know, hurt people hurt people. Mama Red could have been hurt. I don't know if y'all know the buff and tell y'all some Mama Red used to be a stripper in Florida. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave that right there with y'all. Okay. I wanna go get me some donuts. But I'm already fat. Got a big belly. And I am skinny. But I got a big belly. And I don't need no donuts. Donuts. But I'm so really a. Eh? I want some donuts. I want some Krispy Kreme donuts. I want some Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm not going to go get any. But I do want some. So anyway, y'all. It's getting dark. I saw it's getting dark in my room. This ain't my room. What the heck? Y'all, I'm thinking I'm in Florida. Y'all come take the wheel. This is my daughter's room. I'm not claiming no room in nobody's house. Okay? So anyway. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to y'all later. Peace.